This is Vivo X90 Pro and today I would like to demonstrate that you can set up parental controls for this device. So first you will need to launch settings, then enter the accounts category and in here check whether you have any Google accounts added. If you have any, you will need to remove them like that until there will be no Google accounts left. After that, uh, get back to the main settings page, enter the Google category, then tap at the parental controls option over here, get started, child or teenager, next. Now you will need to sign into your child's Google account. If you do not have some, you will be able to create a new one and use it for your child over here. But I do happen to have an account that I can use, so let me quickly uh, input my credentials, or well, rather the child's credentials, child account credentials. Then just proceed with the Google sign in as you would normally do. After that, select the account you have just signed into from the list over here. And, uh, uh, well, to continue, we will need to enter credentials for another Google account. This time, the Google account you will use as a parent to supervise your child activity. Then you will be forwarded to the About Supervision page, so in here scroll it all the way down and enter the uh, password to the child's Google account one more time. Then tap at the Agree button uh, from the pop-up window that you'll get choose an Allow option and wait for the child and parent, ac parent accounts to get linked. Well, something went wrong apparently, so I will retry the linking and retry it until it will work because usually it helps. Well, apparently not this time. Or actually, as you can see, <laughs> the phone... Okay, so this Google services, they might uh, lag sometime and glitch, but as you can see, it ultimately, ultimately resulted in the parental controls activation. So great success, I guess. Now, um, take whatever device you wanted to monitor or supervise your child from. Here's mine. And now, uh, you will need to download and install the free Family Link application. So as you can see, the app is ready. Now you will need to launch it. In here, uh, there is a step that you have to be cautious about to sign into the Google Family Link with the parental Google account. So make sure to do that. And inside the app itself, there are a lot of controls that are available to you. So for example, uh, you can set up the daily usage limits. So let's say your child will not be able to use your, to use their phone more than four, five or three hours a day. Uh, you can set up the downtime routine, so let's say your child will not be able to use uh, their device uh, between the hours of uh, 11 p.m. and like 5 or 6 a.m., for instance. You can enable and disable the apps through the app limits uh, tool, as well as uh, set up, set the app usage limits. So, for example, your child will not, will not be able to use the TikTok application more than one hour a day. And over here as well, you can see your child's uh, app activity as well. Or, well. Um, then you can apply content and age filters for the list of apps that is presented right here. So let's say your child will not be able to see the YouTube videos that are rated 17 plus or 13 plus, as well as download the Google Play Store game uh, games with extensive violence, such as Call of Duty, for instance. 
Uh, next, you can configure your child account settings from here. Uh, manage devices if you have multiple uh, supervisees to look after or multiple children. You can monitor your child's live location and see the child's device usage highlights. Alrighty, so that will be it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.